Commitment issues are gonna keep causing you problems until you know what really to do next. Watch closely and I'll teach you. Are you getting tired yet of people making commitments with you and they don't follow up with them? Wow, that hurts, doesn't it? And all the problems that it makes. I mean, you're counting on someone, they said they're gonna do something and they didn't do it, you know? Or, or, or maybe you said you would do something and you didn't do it. Oh my goodness, what happens here? How come this, you know, be a person of your word isn't happening like the good old days, right? Like what's going on? Well, let's talk about what it is that's influencing everybody around us and us. So commitment issues, when a person goes to make a commitment, they're saying, you know, out here, I will do this on this particular day. That's what somebody says to you. And here it is today right here. And they're saying, oh, you know, I'll go ahead and take care of that. Well, once a person commits to something, there then begins to happen is that there are all these other activities that start to come to them after the conversation you just had. And as they have made the commitment with you, as time goes along, that commitment then gets another commitment put on top of it to somebody else. And then after that commitment, somebody else asks them to do something. Not specifically on the same day, but just another commitment. So you literally have your commitment still inside the person, but it's actually a couple layers down. It's down here. Now this commitment, they told you they would do it, you heard them say it, they agreed to it, but it's here. Then as these are stacked up on top, as they are going through their days or their hours, they're moving towards the time in which they said that they would do something, and guess what happens? They forget. Now, why did they forget? I mean, look at this. The reason why they forgot is because it got stacked on top of. It got lost. It just got lost in the shuffle. I don't think people are intentionally trying to make you mad or ruin your life, or I don't think you are intentionally trying to ruin other people's lives by not following through with your commitments. And I don't think your kids are actually trying to stress you out because they forget their commitments. I noticed that what happens is there's stacking that goes on and your the commitment they gave you isn't at the top of the list. It's down here. That's where the commitment went to. You think though that because they made the commitment with you, because it's on the top of your mind, you think that it's on the top of their mind. But in truth, it's down here because they made other commitments during the week, after the week, next week, next month but they made all these other commitments which then pushed your commitment down. Because this is what the commitment they made with me, I think it's up here, but it's actually down here. So what do we do? How do we fix this? How do we solve this? Well, you could get mad, you know, and just rant, and just get super intense with people, and you know, and get after them again, and just be super mad and everything like that with them, but what's that gonna do? It's not gonna do much, except cause additional problems. So how do you help somebody who is not good at remembering their commitments or holding their commitments? I believe that once somebody makes a commitment with me, I have as much responsibility in that commitment being held as they do. Now I'm not responsible 100% because they've joined into an agreement with me and they've, they've made a commitment with me. So there's 50-50, meaning they have 50%, I have 50%. So what happens is, along the way, if there are no reminders at all, no reminders, no check-in to just see how it's going towards that commitment, of course that commitment is gonna be way down the list. It's gonna be down here. But as I check in with a person who's made a commitment with me, and I check in, every time I check in with them, I'm bringing that commitment back up to the top. And then things happen and it gets shuffled back down. Then if I email them and remind them, I'm bringing it back to the top. So you can help people with their commitments by bringing it back to the top. Now I know you wish you didn't have to follow up with anybody. 
And I don't know why everybody's trying so hard to not have to follow up with people. Do you know that 15, 20 years ago, we didn't have all the technology we have today and we actually had to follow up with people more often. I think the human race is getting lazy and we think we only have to tell people once and that they should remember it forever. In the world today of social media and data overload of input, people are overloaded. And when you make a commitment, of course, it's gonna get shuffled down. And so your job is to remind and bring to the surface. And the better you can get of reminding it's going to bring to the surface and it's a higher chance that that commitment is actually going to be held. If this is your child and you've said, hey, will you clean your room? Yeah, I'll clean my room. And then a friend texts them and then they gotta do their homework. Oh yeah, the dog ran away, they gotta go find the dog. And then you come to them and go, hey, you didn't clean your room. Oh, I totally forgot, I'm so sorry, I'll clean my room. And then things happen, things happen and it's back down to the bottom of the list. I know it seems ridiculous, like, oh, you actually have to follow up with people. But you could get mad and yell. You could get mad and tear into the person. For what? <laughs> What's that gonna do? What's that gonna do? So reminding them brings it to the surface. Now, what's some other ways you can help with this? Well, when they go to make the commitment, you could ask the person to write it down. You could ask the person to put it in their calendar. You could ask them to put an alarm on their phone. You could send them an email. You could ask them, hey, will you email me tomorrow and just tell me how you're in alignment with doing this commitment? There's all these little things that you could practice having discussions with this person about alarms, calendar, um, reminder notes. Hey, will you put a note on your mirror? You know, hey, will you put a note on your mirror? Put a note on the dash of your car? We put a note with your wallet, you know, or you're in your shoes. So you can get more creative of ways to remind, to put it back up at the top, or you can get mad. That's what most people do. They just get mad. There are more things going on in this life than your plans. And all these things that are gonna happen are just gonna stack up between here and there and they're going to forget. There's a small percentage of people who actually will remember, and then there's another portion of people who are really good at putting it in their calendar, putting a note, putting it on their to-do list, and then that reminds them. It reminds them. And our work is to not get emotionally triggered when somebody doesn't hold their commitment. Because what happens is when you get emotionally triggered, you can't be in a solution-minded thinking of how to create a system so that this gets reminded because you're all in your emotions. You got all triggered and got all emotional about it and now you just can't think of how to do it better. Your next step in when it comes to commitments and how to solve commitment issues is to become better at helping the person in setting up a system of reminders and you have a better system of follow-up. And if you're a mom and you have seven kids and you're gonna now say to me, Kirk, I can't do that with seven kids, well, maybe you get to try something new. Because getting mad and yelling at people because they don't hold their commitments is not healthy and it ruins relationships. And I'm gonna say you're a yeller, but you know a yeller. You know people who just get all unglued about these kind of things. Kids need to be taught how to remind themselves of commitments. Spouses need help in reminding themselves about commitments. You need help in reminding yourself about commitments. But instead of you know, splattering all over people when they forget, or your, your son didn't make his bed, or your husband or wife didn't follow through with what they said they're gonna do, instead of reacting to the moment, pause, and think about where the forgetfulness happened. Where was it lost? And in that place, a system gets to be created. In that place, something can be created to have better reminders. You are gonna be better at commitments as you develop better systems about your reminders and you're gonna have better relationships with people as you become a great teacher on helping them have better systems of reminders move that commitment 
up to the surface. Now, what I do at the end of the day, I go through my to-do list and I check all my commitments and I move the commitments up to the top that are due tomorrow. And sure enough, things come in. And if I can't fulfill that commitment, you notify the person. You message the person, you renegotiate with them, you stay in communication with them, you do not just blow them off. That is rude <laughs> when you knew you weren't gonna be able to do it. Forgetfulness is another thing, but when you know you can't fulfill it, you're messaging and renegotiating. Be responsible. So keep that moving to the surface. And just a heads up, the way the world's going, and even though we have all these systems for to-do lists and all these things going on, people's brains are full. And in the moment, if they don't write it down, if they don't put it on their calendar, if they don't set an alarm, if in the moment they're not setting reminders, there's a really high chance they're not going to remember. So you can find out in the moment, if they're not writing it down, logging in their phone, put it on their calendar, put it on their to-do list, it's gonna get forgot. So in the moment, you be the smart one and cause the reminders to be put in place before the discussion is over. Be responsible in that moment and stop thinking that everybody's gonna get better with remembering. It's not going that direction. <laughs> People are actually becoming more forgetful and you and I get to help them. And let's help them put those in the reminders right in the discussion, right when it's happening. Okay, <laughs> gotta get this to the top, right? You gotta help people. Don't wait for them to figure things out. You teach them, you move them, you inspire them of setting reminders so that these commitments can be held. Now, something I can help you with, you know, if you really like progress and you like it when things get done, I'm gonna highly suggest a monthly experience with me on a higher level. There's a link right down here below to my monthly experience of being mentored. Now, you love these videos, right? And I'm, I'm talking to you and sharing things with you, but you know what, let's get a little bit deeper. Let's start working on your personal life and helping you really make that progress. So click the link below, read the details, and if it's for you, I'd love to have you be part of this monthly experience in moving you forward. Now click subscribe, because it's so fun to be able to share with you what I've got coming next, which I've got a whole bunch of great topics that are coming your way. Click subscribe so you don't have to hunt this down, it just shows up for you. And I look forward to working with you some more. All right, thank you.